Hey friends, welcome back, Effie Review. Re re <laughs> hey friends, welcome back, Effie Review Problem Mechanics of Materials. We've got a rectangular bar here, okay? The rectangular cross section is 0.6 meters squared. What is the lateral, lateral strain of the bar if P is 4,000 kilonewtons, modulus elasticity is 200 GPA, and Poissance ratio is 0.29? Here are your choices. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. Okay, are you back? Now, number one, I can do always on the FE. If you can eliminate answers, do it, right? If I stretch this bar longitudinally, longitudinal, along the axis, right? L-O-N-G, L-O-N-G, along, longitudinal, get it? Okay, if I stretch it this way, it gets longer, that's, po that's positive. What does the cross section do in this direction? It gets smaller. So I know as I stretch it, the lateral direction is gonna go negative. So only one of these answers, or two of these answers really, make any sense. It's one of those two there, right? So if you already got one of those down there, you got it wrong, okay? It's definitely one of those two, let's see. Now to solve that, I think I need this. Right, this guy, sigma equals P over A. That, well, we can use that. And then we can use this guy, E equals uh, rise over run. And of course, this one down here is gonna be longitudinal, right? Because we're gonna calculate here the stress from stretching it, right? So that's longitudinal. And the last equation that we'll use is this guy here, Poisson's ratio is negative strain lat divided by strain long. Let's go, okay, let's try that one. Sigma equals P over A. Okay, so A is given 0.6 meters squared. I'd like P in newtons, that way I have newtons over meters squared, then I know I got pascals, right? So that's 4,000, which is 4,000, but that's kilo newtons. I'm gonna put three more zeros on it, and now it's newtons, okay? So now I'm gonna get pascals. So let's see what I get. Four, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Divided by 0. 0.6 equals, oh, that's a big number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pascals, or 6.67 megapascals, right? Mega is times 10 to the sixth, right? Move six over. Okay, then we got E. It's, uh, oh, 200 gigapascals, right? So 200, but that's gigas. I got megas over here. If I put three more zeros now, it's a mega, okay? Equals what? Stress, 6.67, okay? Divided by strain longi longitudinal, okay? So I'm fixing to get that, aren't I? Move that over there, divide that by that. So 6.67, divided by 200 thousand equals point one two three four zeros and then a bunch of threes, okay? That is strain long, okay? Well, what do we do over here to get to get lat, which is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for right here. Just take strain long, whoop, multiply by Poisson's ratio, right? So times, and let's just carry that negative with it, okay? Negative 0.29 equals, okay, times 0.29 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 10 to the negative 6, 9.67 times 10 to the negative six. Remember, there's no units on this. Strain lat to the negative, to the, to the, to the negative. Okay? Hey. Hey. Okay, did you get it? Let's do another one.